I'm not sure what I want to do. Find a job, I guess. Because I'll go crazy if I stay at my dad's for very long. You'd like him. He's a real control freak. Has tons of demons. I only have a few. What about your mom? My mom walked out on us. But don't worry, my demons have nothing to do with her, if that's what you're thinking. What I was thinking was that getting a job might be a great first step. It'll give you some independence. You meet new people. This church is actually a great place to make new friends. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't need to make new friends. I just want to get away from my dad. So I can stop pretending. Plus, I kind of like the friends I had. Pretending? How? That I'm a good girl. The woman before me. How long has she been coming here? I can't discuss other clients. I wanted to know because if it's been a while, well, if you can't help her, how the hell are you going to help me? That's our time for today. You know, despite your reservations, I do hope you come back next week. We'll see. The end of another day at the office? <laughs> you make it sound like work. Ah, a woman who loves her calling. Mm -hmm. I just hope that this is my calling and not my waitressing job. <laughs> well, from what I can tell, you've worked wonders in the two months you've been with us, so have faith. You know what? You should personalize that office a little. Make it your own. Okay. I'll do that, Father. Thank you. <laughs> my first 10k. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, for somebody who always said he didn't like cats, you sure do show him a lot of affection. Yeah, well, I just like him because he's yours. Yeah, right. Come. Hey, here. Oh, thanks. Tyler? Yeah? Something wrong? I just got a text from Elle. L. Really? Yeah, she's back in the city. You gonna respond? You're the therapist. What do you think? She's your ex-girlfriend, Tyler, and I am also human, so what do you think I'm gonna say? <laughs> Plus, from everything that you've told me, she seems like she was really toxic for you. Yeah. No, you're right. I'm gonna ignore it. See? You always know what to do. I'm gonna take a shower. Thank you for making a concession on my behalf. Well, we like to keep our doors open. And besides, Kara makes up for it in spades. Oh, thank you, Father. And we will set a date very soon. I will let you know. Fine. Nice meeting you, Tyler. And who knows, maybe we'll see you on a Sunday sometime? Yeah, stranger things have happened. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Bye, Father. <laughs> That went well. No, I'll say I didn't burn when I walked in here like I thought. Oh, stop <laughs> it. Seriously, thank you, because I know you're doing this just for me. Yeah, well, maybe getting married in a church will absolve me of all my sins. <laughs> no guarantees. <laughs> <laughs> Can I start you off with anything? Uh, scotch. Neat. In a clean glass. 
course. Can I get a Glen Farley meat and a clean glass of water? Kara, when Tyler finishes socializing, tell him I need to go over some paperwork. Of course. Thank you. Chief, this is my fiance, Kara. We were introduced. Um, here's your scotch and clean glass of water. Sorry about that. So, how'd you two meet? I stole her. <laughs> Tyler saved me from a date that was going very badly. <laughs> Tyler always did play the hero. Hey, El. I was just catching up with your dad. I can see that. Did you know Tyler was managing the restaurant? I had no idea. He's obviously made a lot of changes while I was gone. L, this is Kara, his fiance. Nice to meet you, Kara. And you. Um, can I get you anything? Straight bourbon. Sorry, rehab humor. <laughs> Isabel's done remarkably well. She's working hard on getting back on her feet. Well, you know, getting a job is a great first step in my recovery. Tyler, are you hiring? We both worked together before. We know the dance. Sorry, but we're actually fully staffed at the moment. Probably not a good idea anyway. Oh, before I forget, uh, Frank said he wants to talk to you. Ah, well, sounds like the boss wants me to get back to work, but enjoy. Hmm. So, um, go ahead and take a look at the menu, and I'll be back to take your order in a minute. Have a good night. Bye. Do you think she knew who I was when she came in for counseling? How would she? I mean, you didn't know where she was. Yeah, but that's because you always called her Elle, not Isabel. Why is that? <sighs> she hates Isabel because it's her mom's middle name. So I started calling her Elle. So much for not having mommy issues. You don't have to keep treating her, Kara. No. Why wouldn't I help her? Because she's your ex. Don't worry, I can be unbiased. And besides, it can't be easy having the chief of police as your dad. Oof. Are you kidding? She's lucky. He's covered her ass more times than I can count. <laughs> Admit it. You've got a big heart, which is why I'll keep treating her, and which is exactly why I love you. You love me because I'm going to take the trash out. That's a bonus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. Bad. This one's broken. I'm glad you kept your appointment. Surprised you didn't cancel. Why would I do that? Because you were uncomfortable the other night. <laughs> I was trying to respect your privacy. So do you fish? No. Why, your parents never took you? This is your time, not mine. Guess they didn't. Why don't you have a seat? We'll get started. I miss the certainty of it. I mean, there's no question when you take those pills, you're gonna feel awesome. It was like I was in this perfect bubble of just me, Tyler, and the high. The only thing better was the sex. It was so good, I didn't even need the drugs to get off. I mean, Tyler and I, we'd spend days and never leave the bedroom. 
And if we did, we couldn't wait. We'd, we'd do it everywhere and anywhere. Come to think of it, I'm not sure what I was addicted to more. The drugs or the sex? Uh, the drugs would have made it seem almost uh, surreal and it's normal to romanticize about how good things were. <laughs> wow. You really haven't experienced what Tyler and I had, have you? Because trust me, it was very real. the door on my way out? No, I'll get in in a few. Cheers. Sorry, but we're closed. I know. I just thought this might be a good time to talk. About a job? If you're hiring, that is. Welcome, and thank you all for being here today. I'd like to start off today's sermon with, um, with something from Psalm 139. Kara, surprised you're here. Tyler and I always spend Sunday mornings in bed. So you've said. What about you? I didn't think you were interested in attending. I'm here for the same reason I see you, to assure my doting dad I'm redeeming my sinful soul. I gotta go. Make sure you thank Tyler for me. Thank him? For the job. Turns out he was short-staffed. Isabel. As your counselor, I have to tell you it's not a good idea for you to be working with Tyler. And I'm sure that your father would agree. Are you really telling that as my counselor or his fiance? It's Recovery 101. Anyone you associate from your past with drug use should be cut out of your life. I'm sure you'll figure this out, Kara, but I don't always do what I'm told. And as I said to you before, I like the friends I had a lot. She went straight to Frank, hon. And you think that's it? She got the job just like that, even though we weren't short-stuffed. I like to think Frank's a better man than that. What about her? Look, I'm sorry, Kara. I tried. I even spoke to Frank about the situation, but he already put it on the schedule for tonight. Well, she's clearly playing games. And I can't be her counselor anymore if that's what she's doing. Yeah, and I'll make sure I juggle your shifts so you're not working the same ones. I don't care. 
care about having to work with her, Tyler. I care about you. <laughs> the history that you guys have together, the drugs, the alcohol, I mean, she clearly has no boundaries. Hey, hey, look, I have nothing to worry about, all right? I'm a different man now. And we're getting married, remember? When? I know we talked about the spring, but we haven't set a date. Then pick one, and I'll be there. Will that do us part? Sounds kind of morbid. Well, then we'll write our own vows. I just don't want you to get sucked back in again. Trust me, that'll never happen. Hey, babe, what's up? How does May 6th sound? Are there any other dates? Not in May, and I thought we wanted to have a spring wedding. Yeah, no, 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 I do, I do. It's just uh, May 6th is Elle's birthday, and I don't want a wedding to have anything to do with her. Fine, um, I'll just pick another date. How are things going with her? No problems. Good. Then, how does June 17th sound? Okay, book it. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you when I get home, okay? Thanks, Bree. I'll see you tomorrow. Why don't you go? I could do that. Are you kidding me? I've got to show my new boss I can finish the job. <laughs> hey, remember that time we went to that bar in the East End? I got there ahead of you and we pretended we didn't know each other. <laughs> I was sitting at the bar and all those boys were hitting on me. And then you walked in. You watched me for a while then introduced yourself to me. And within minutes, I let you slide your hand under my skirt. <laughs> oh, I thought those boys were gonna fall off their stools when they saw that. That was a long time ago. Yeah. I wish I hadn't been gone so long. It was a good thing. It helped you kick your bad habits. Not all of them. Well, you don't drink anymore? Not for six months. Wow. Is that the care effect? Kara's a good person. She works hard, and she knows how to take care of people. So she's a good girl. Not like I was. You know, I don't mind giving up the pills and the alcohol. There's one thing I do not want to give up. Do you know what that is? Tyler, you can't tell me you don't remember how good it was. You couldn't go anywhere without getting into it. Hmm, the laundry mat, the elevator, top of the bar, just like this. I'm gonna finish closing up. I'll lock the door after you leave.
I'm off to play squash with Dave. Stop, turn around. What? Don't what look. Is, what is it? It's my mother's wedding dress. It's bad luck if you see it. Kara, I've already seen photos of your parents' wedding day. That is not the same thing, and you know it. Now close your eyes, and do not open them until I'm gone. Where are you going? I'm going to the tailor, and then I'm going to the church. I'll see you later. Mm. Keep them close. Mm -hmm. Father? Kara, something I can help you with? Um, yeah, sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know that we decided on a date for the wedding. June 17th. Wonderful! <laughs> afternoon or evening? We think an afternoon wedding would be nice. Oh, great. I I'll put it in the calendar. Great. Oh, and I was wondering, if you could possibly find another counselor for one of my clients, Isabel Lloyd. Of course. But before I do, is there a problem I should know about? No, of course not. You know, sometimes you just realize it's not a great fit for either of you. Fair enough. Great, thanks. <laughs> He always looked after us. I mean, whenever I even mentioned getting a job, he'd get upset. That's because he wanted to isolate you, Laura. He wanted you to feel dependent on him. I know. But now I don't know how to get away from him. You are skilled IT. You can make a life for you and your daughter. And what if he finds us? We will find a way that he doesn't. <laughs> no one's ever wanted to help me like you. Why do you care so much? Because <sighs> nobody should have to live the way that you do. It's my job to help you get through this. I know exactly the kind of day you've had, so I'll make sure to throw in an extra splash. <laughs> Just make sure there's no carbs in my plate. I'm sorry, what, what was that? Just salad on the side. Right, no carbs. I got it. Um, I'll be back with your drinks. Excuse me, but we've been waiting 30 minutes for a meal. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll go check with the kitchen. Can I get a house red? Do you have the inventory list? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what happened, but somehow the kitchen didn't get Table Seven's order and they've already been waiting for 30 minutes. All right, don't worry, I'll just comp them their meals. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I need a bottle of vodka on ice, please. Can I get that house red? Hey, tone it down. This isn't the bar. You're the boss. I'm sorry I had to work with her, Kara, but I had no choice when Brie called in. It's okay. Not really. No, you are Excuse me, guys. I don't mind if you guys have a good time, but hands off my staff, all right? That's my hero. Tyler still has my back. Although he didn't always mind me flirting with other men. He was doing his job, Elle. <laughs> Maybe. But when someone trusts you enough to let them act out their wildest fantasies, you know they'll always have your back. Is she gone? Yeah. Good. I'll have to have a talk with her about tonight. Working the tables like that was fine in the bar. I'm not here. When you two were together, 
Did you like it when she flirted with other guys? What? Did it turn you on? Why are we talking about this? Did she say something to you? Maybe I just want to know what turns you on. You do. I mean, we get home, I'm going to show you exactly how much. Come here. What are you doing? I'm not waiting until we get home. Dad's working. She's taking a bunch of Oxy. Tell her to call her sponsor. Well, she did. She hasn't responded. She wants me to come help. Tyler, it's not your job to save her anymore. What am I supposed to do, Kara? Ignore it? Because I've seen her OD before. Isabel? No, I'm not putting him on the phone. Calm down. What about your dad? I'm sure if you called your dad, he would be willing to help you. Isabel? Isabel! What are you doing? What I was trained to do. I'll come with you. No, Tyler. It's exactly what she wants. And when an addict gets what they want, they never stop. What are you doing here? I came to see if you're okay. And why do you care? Well, until Father Macy finds you another counselor, you're still my client. How many pills did you take? And why would I need a new counselor? Because this isn't working. Because you're starting to crack? I need to know if I should call 911. And if I do, I'm gonna have to call your father as well. I'm fine. That's what I thought. You know, it's sad how painfully insecure you are. But I guess you can't be faulted after being orphaned. I'm just surprised I was with someone like you. I'm not the one who called my ex-boyfriend in the middle of the night, Isabel. You might want to reflect on that. Wow. Underneath this whole Mother Teresa thing you got going, you're a real bitch. Everything okay? I understand. Just call me when you can get away, and we'll make another appointment, okay? It'll be okay.
Ara, I have some good news. One of our other counselors is more than happy to take on your client. That's great. Thank you. You're welcome. Normally leave your office unlocked. This is a church. We don't usually lock the doors. No, no. I, I didn't lock my office. You didn't see anybody coming or going? Just Father Macy. And I was in my office for most of the morning, so Kara's the only one I saw, other than my assistant, Mrs. Walsh. Kara? You okay? Yeah. This is? My fiance, Tyler. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Uh, sure. Sure. How about we take it outside, though? Yeah. You know, the last session I had with Isabel, she kept asking me questions about my parents. And then when I went to her house the other night, she called me an orphan. Why did you tell me all this? I didn't want to make her a problem. What do you think she did this? I think she's being forced to give up something she doesn't want to. You. And I think she's fighting it. Part of me wants to keep treating her so I can help her, and the other part just wants her the hell out of our lives. I'll talk to Frank again tomorrow when she's not in. I'll say whatever I have to so he lets her go. And then we could be done with her. But just in case it wasn't her, I want you to keep this in your office. To load around. You pull the slide. Now it's ready. I can't bring this into the church. I don't care if it's a Taj Mahal. You deal with people with serious problems. And what if one of my clients finds it and uses it? You lock it up. I can't, Tyler. I, I honestly don't even want it in the house. I promise I will lock the door even when I'm there. You promise? I promise. Hey, Frank, do you have a minute? Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about Elle Lloyd. Why, is there a problem? No, I just don't think she's a good fit for the restaurant. I mean, she was great working at the bar, but I think you want a classier place. And she could be a bit too hands-on. As far as I can see, she's good for business. She's a troublemaker, Frank. For who, you? I told you the situation. And I'm telling you she's good for business. So figure it out. If you can't handle your women, then maybe this isn't a good fit for you. almost hit you. What are you doing here? I had a craving. For what? Something hot and sticky. You know, 
Mike's Donuts around the corner. I couldn't wait till I pulled over. Is that really the reason you're here? Is there another? I don't know. Maybe the same reason you took a job at the restaurant? I lived here, Kara. Slept in his bed, in this kitchen. Sometimes I miss it. The donuts, that is. Have a good night. What are you doing cleaning? It's 1 a.m. Did you talk to Frank? He said, uh, Elle was too good for business. Of course she is. Did you know she was here? She said she had a craving for donuts. But I know she was just watching us. Or me, at least. Like a stalker? She took a job at our place. She calls in the middle of the night. Yeah. Like a stalker. Look, I'll, uh, I'll talk to her myself, all right? I'll, uh... I'll make sure she leaves us alone. How are your donuts? Just like they always were. Remember you used to bring me half dozen every Saturday? Feed them to me in bed. Did you vandalize Kara's office? What are you talking about? You need to back off, Al. Hey, I am not her client anymore, so whatever work issue she has has nothing to do with me. You know, if I had it my way, you wouldn't be working here. I'm just trying to get back on my feet, Tyler. It's not my problem that your future wife is so insecure. Which is why I'm sure you're talking to me right now. <laughs> I'm happy, Elle. All right, I've, I've moved on. And so should you. I mean, look how far you've come. Aw, are you proud of me? <laughs> That's so sweet. I wish I could say the same, but to be honest, you've disappointed me. From what I recall, you're not the marrying type. Variety is the spice of life, remember? At least that's what you told me when you brought a third into our bed. It wasn't real, Al. What we had, it was a drug and alcohol-infused fantasy. You understand that, right? Are you getting married in a church, Tyler? What does that have to do with anything? I know you. And you're the one living in a fantasy now. Back off, Elle. I mean it. I'll see you at my next shift. Mm Gulliver this morning? He hasn't come in for breakfast. He's probably decapitating a bird somewhere. We got the cat flap sealed up before the weather turns. Do we have to get married in a church? Uh, no, uh, it's what we discussed. Why you don't want to anymore? No, no, no. It's just. I guess I'm just wondering why it has to be a church. Why not our backyard or something? Aren't the vows the same? Yeah, they can be. Tyler, you... You were the one who insisted on doing this for me. But if you've changed your mind, I totally understand. No, no, no. No, you're right. You're right, I was the one that pushed the issue, and I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm overthinking this. We'll still do it, all right? Just 
Don't expect me to get baptized anytime soon. I would never force you to do anything you didn't want to do. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Walking on the cover, I got stuck. He sat by the pond all summer. Why are you defending her? I'm not. I, I just don't think she's a sociopath. And how can you say that? Are you the therapist? We have to go to the police. With what? We have no proof she's done any of this. So it'll just make it that much easier for her dad to make it go away. I don't know. But we have to do something. You can't tell me that all the bad stuff that's happened since she came back into town is all coincidence. I don't buy that. Where are you going? I know her, Kara, like no one else does. So when I tell her what happened, I'll know she did it. And if you think she did it, then what happens? I'll be back as soon as I can. Tyler, something I can help you with? Is Elle home? She is. What's this about? I just need to talk to her. <sighs> She's good, Tyler. She's doing much better on her own. And I respect that. Tyler. Do you want to come in? I'll make sure my dad leaves us alone. I'm good. I just wanted to talk to you about this. It's a bit small for me, don't you think? It's for a cat. Kara's, actually. She found him in her pond. Drowned. Just wanted to know if you knew anything about it. And how would I? It's no secret how you feel about Kara. So what, you think I killed her cat? Did you? You know me, Tyler. What do you think? I'm hoping it was an accident. I think it's time for you to leave, son. Tell Karen I'm sorry about her cat.
Need a hand? Isn't your shift over? I told Frank I could work a double if you need me. And seeing that it's inventory, looks like you do. If you want to help, you can count those. You believe me, right? About the cat? Because if you don't, that's the way it hurt me. I want to believe you, Elle. But you've been doing what you do. Stirring things up, causing problems. Starting with this job. Fine, I'm busted, all right? I got this job to get close to you. But that's it. So you haven't been watching the house? Trying to mess with Kara? Tyler, you know me. Even high, I wouldn't do the things Kara thinks I did. And you said it yourself. You want to believe me, so just do it. Hey, is Tyler here? Yeah, downstairs. You here to lend a hand? Of course. I'm gonna leave you guys high and dry. We were messed up, Tyler, but it was never complicated. Because we weren't trying to be something or someone that we're not. <laughs> you came in with a squash racket the other day. <laughs> Wait, what, you're, you're a Mr. Country Club now? Because I was so not you. You're the guy who doesn't care if he shaves, who flies by the seat of his pants, who doesn't follow the rules. So come on, Tyler. Just stop pretending. Break them. Throw me up against the wall and take me like I don't want it. Because I know you like that. Is it really that good, Tyler? With her? Because I find that really hard to believe. You got a problem, Mel. A serious one. Go home. Frank wants me. Tell Frank you couldn't stay. rejection oh when are you gonna realize he's not yours anymore that he's done with the toxic life you guys had he don't know anything about what we had except for the sex which you obviously couldn't handle hearing about oh you need help not so you can play games so you can get better wow that must get really exhausting, hiding behind that whole persona of wanting to fix people when you're the broken one. But guess what? I saw the cracks when I was talking to you about your parents, both trapped under the boat. It's no surprise that you cling on to Tyler, like a life preserver. But the problem is, no matter how hard you hang on, you'll never give him what he wants. Eventually, I'll hit that nerve. That one thing that'll break you. And everything will fall apart. And when that happens, it's game over. Oh, and Caroline? Don't call me Elle. What were you doing at the restaurant? I saw you too, Tyler. 
If you're talking about Elle, nothing happened. This is supposed to be a happy time in my life. Planning a life with you. And it still is. Really? When all we do is talk about her? Not where we should have the reception or who we should invite. And instead of making a guest list, I am documenting everything that she does. So in case she goes off the deep end, I have a record of it. This is what she wants, Kara. She wants us talking about her. So we just need to stop. I spend her time doing exactly what you said. It's planning our lives together. She called me Caroline tonight. The only ones who ever called me that were my parents. How would she know that unless she was trying to mess with my head? Kara, please. We can't let her win. sign of forcible entry? No, no. She was in my house. I know that she was. Was it possible she still has access? She gave me all the keys after we split, but I don't know. She made me duplicates. I recommend getting your locks changed. Of course. So are you going to arrest her? All well, this documentation of events you've created will definitely help us build a case. So what? You have to wait to build a case before you can do anything? We'll start an official file in the hopes that we can use it to secure a restraining order. A lot of the times, once that's done, the person realizes they've crossed the line and backs off. And what if they don't? Let's just take it one step at a time. But I assure you, we will take it seriously, OK? I hope you do. What was that about? I would have spoken to you if you were here. This is just some he said, she said. I'll take care of it. Can we get you a table? I'm not here to eat. I just came to inform you that Isabel won't be working here anymore. I never thought it was a good idea, but sometimes Isabel, she's got a mind of her own. She sure does. Well, at least now everyone can relax and get on with things. Understood? I'm clear. You okay? Great. Remember when I said there's no point going to the police? I got a visit today from the chief. He quit on Elle's behalf. So as he put it, we can all relax and get on with her lives. So nothing is going to happen? Told you. I know what you told me, Tyler, but we have proof, documents, incidents. We don't have anything. Not according to the chief of police. So what are we supposed to do? Just accept the fact that there's not going to be a restraining order or charges? Just 
That she can damage everything that we have? What do you want me to do, Kara? Tell me, because I'm at a loss. Chief Floyd, can I have a minute? Yeah, I have a minute. Uh, look, I know that I only counseled your daughter a couple of times, but she needs help. She's unstable. I mean, if you would just look at the things that she's done... It... Isabel is fragile. And if I had known the association with you and Tyler, I never would have suggested she seek church counsel. Isabel is not fragile. She is dangerous. I mean, I've obtained orders of protection for far less. But I think you know that. I hope you're not trying to tell me how to do my job. Because we don't just stand out restraining orders because of some female rivalry. And from what I read in your documents, that's what this is about. How can you say this isn't about a rivalry? This is about your daughter. It is about what she has done. Look, there's no proof that she's done any of the things that you're accusing her of. So I suggest that you and Tyler get on with your own lives and leave my daughter the hell out of it. Chosen another date? I'm sorry? For your wedding. I don't understand. Your email indicated that you had to cancel. I never sent an email. Are you sure it was for me? I, I don't know. I assumed so. Oh, Kara. Don't tell me that I misunderstood because your date. It's no longer available. I I'd feel terrible. Oh, Are you okay? No, it's fine. Um, yeah. Of course, we'll choose another date. Thank you, Father. Sure. Come on in. Is everything okay? Yeah. Of course. Um. I'm actually glad you're here. I have a plan on how to get you away from him. If you're willing. Are you? Yes. my parents' place to a client of mine. I think she needs it more than we do. Besides, we don't have a wedding date anymore, so it's not like we need the money to plan anything. I'm sorry, Kara. You deserve better than this. Remember what you said. We can't let her win. I'm just afraid.
afraid for what this is doing to you. I'm afraid of what this is doing to us. seem to stop running into each other. Creepy. Maybe I should get a restraining order or something. It's good to know the chief of police makes light of sociopaths. Who, me? His sweet reformed daughter who insisted I volunteer for the church bake sale? Well, he couldn't be prouder. Make sure you try my Spanish wedding cakes before they're all gone. It has everything you need for you and your daughter. And the lot's been paid till the end of the year. Thank you. Can I come visit you once you've settled in? Of course. Oh, Kara. Good luck with everything. Did he say anything? That I needed to learn how to play. Like it was some kind of game. Have there been any other incidents prior to this attack? Uh, I submitted a whole file of incidents. Tyler's ex has been harassing us. Ex-girlfriend? Yeah, Isabel Lloyd. Who'd you submit this file to? One of your officers. Officer Peterson, I think. Can you explain the harassment? She destroyed Kara's wedding dress. She, she sent her a, a sex video of her and I. She even killed my cat. You have proof of this? Trust me, it was her. If you just saw the file, it wouldn't even be a surprise that I was attacked. Look, we were told a restraining order would be pursued, but it never happened. Don't worry, I'll dig up the file. What am I supposed to do until then? What if it is some kind of sick game? Who's gonna protect me? We'll set up surveillance. I'll make sure you're safe. I can't believe this is happening. 
Why, why would somebody just come into, come into our house and attack me? <laughs> What are you sorry for? I'm afraid. And I'm afraid that this is part of her twisted game and that it is not over. If she's responsible for what happened to you, I swear, not even her father will be able to cover her ass. Peterson. Yeah. Did you file a report on Isabel Lloyd? No. But a complaint was brought to your attention, correct? Yeah. The chief took it over. Yeah, of course he did. Come in. Clements, what do you need? The report on your daughter. What's this about? Here, Spencer was almost raped last night. Really? It's amazing how trouble just seems to find some people. Maybe you didn't hear me correctly. She was attacked and almost raped in her own home by a man she doesn't know. So this is now the special victims unit, and I'm going to need any prior reports. Well, there aren't any. Here, Spencer didn't report any harassment by your daughter? Sure. She came in. I read the file, but there was no evidence of any criminal activity that I saw. Just the rantings of a couple of women out for the same man. Destroying personal property and uttering veiled threats isn't considered criminal activity. I understand your need to investigate this alleged attack, so why don't you and your department focus on that and leave my daughter out of it? There's clearly a pattern of behavior that's... We're done here. I'm gonna need an officer for surveillance. We're low on manpower. The detective asked me for everything that I have documented on Isabel. Not surprising she couldn't dig it up herself. Do you think they'll finally take it seriously this time? It's not about them taking it seriously, it's about the chief. But <laughs> this isn't about accusations anymore. I was attacked. What do, what do I have to do? Get raped or murdered before somebody does something? Hey, hey, don't say that. As long as I'm here, you're safe. I'll see if I can get out of work early tonight. Maybe get some of my shifts covered. Tyler, I don't want you to lose your job because of... Hey! You're more important to me than anything, all right? Lock the door, don't leave the house. I'll be back as soon as I can. I'm sorry, Father Macy. I know I have a lot of clients, but I need to seek other counsel for them. No, everything's fine. Um, I just, I, I need to take some personal time. I hope you understand. Oh, but um, I would like to keep one of my clients. Laura Fisher? All right, great, thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.
Carrie, are you okay? No. No, I'm not okay. I gotta get out of here. Carrie, just wait. I'm on my way. Tyler, you don't understand. I can't stay here. Set up. You're under arrest for trespassing and attempted bodily harm. Look, I didn't do anything. She asked for it. Son of a bitch to try to rape you. One of them. What the hell are you talking about? He claims he was responding to an ad. An ad to come and rape me. It's a good thing I was watching. Who did this? Well, supposedly Kara. That's ridiculous. Well, according to our suspect, he was emailing Kara, who sent him details of her daily routine so he'd know when to attack. This is crazy. But Why would I want that? She would never do anything like this. And who would? Your ex-girlfriend? I mean, I read the documents you sent me. So you believe me? I believe there's a clear pattern of behavior. Because she's sick. Jesus, if she did this, you need to arrest her. Well, first, I'm gonna need your permission to seize your electronic devices. Computers, laptops, cell phones. That way, our digital forensics team can get to work on eliminating either of your suspects. Yeah, fine, here, take it. You'll have them back as soon as any pertinent information is downloaded. And what about Isabel? And we'll bring her in for questioning. For real this time? For real. What are you doing, Dad? What are you doing? Where are they? Where are the drugs? I don't have anything. Bull! Dad, this is crazy. I don't have any drugs. Then what the hell are you doing? Because I don't like being told as a courtesy that my daughter's being brought in for questioning! For what? I didn't do anything! Just so you and I are clear, I cannot save you from every crazy thing you do. You're wasting my time and yours, which explains all of your department's inefficiencies. Which is following protocol. Questioning someone with no proof of priors, that's protocol. That's bulls what that is. Especially when I didn't do anything. Listen, you haven't been harassing Kara, even though her fiance has collaborated all her accounts. She's being paranoid. I mean, she may be a therapist, but she's the one with the issues. Just look at her history. Mommy and daddy dead, leaving her an orphan. That's enough to mess anyone up. You seem to know a lot about her. Is this including her daily routine? You have no proof my client had anything to do with that ad, or any of the other accusations, for that matter. Isabel, what do you know about virtual private networks? What the hell's that? You use them when you don't want your online activity to be tracked, such as your emails. Sounds clever. It is, until our team unravels it and finds out where the ad came from. So what you're saying is right now you have nothing. Actually, Chief, you should know that all we need is enough reason to believe that Kara's life's in danger to make an arrest. Then go ahead. Arrest my daughter. That's what I thought. I will be obtaining that restraining order, though. The one that should have been in place before that file got buried. Knock yourself out.
What are you doing? I'm deleting all of my online profiles so nobody can find me. Don't worry. Detective Clemens said the restraining order has been filed. It should be delivered in the next couple days. She told me, you know, about the sex that you guys had. The fantasies. We were also doing a lot of other things. I know that. But I still feel the need to ask. Did you fulfill a rape fantasy with her? Because I heard what she said that night at the restaurant about you taking her like she didn't want it. I told you, Kara, we were messed up. I think you need to tell Detective Clements. Because the more they have to build a case against her, the safer I'll be. be willing to make an official statement. Thank you, Tyler. Anything at this point helps. Bye. Good news. We've been able to trace two of the outgoing emails back to St. Timothy's Church on December 1st. So that means whoever sent them had to be at the church that day. You got it. Thank you. Yes, hello, is this Father Macy? Hi, this is Detective Clemens at the Special Victims Unit. Yes, how are you today? Good, thanks. Uh, I was hoping you'd be able to tell me if you were at the church on November 24th. Oh, a bake sale, really? Uh, do you happen to remember if there was a young woman there by the name of Isabel Lloyd? No, no, nothing to be concerned about. You've been very helpful, thank you. Have a good day. to go up tonight? She's my only client, Tyler. I want to make sure that she has everything she needs. Don't worry. They have enough evidence to arrest Al, and they finally tracked down all the men, so there's nobody out there. Not anymore. Come on. If you run, We'll be fine. All right, all right. I love you. I love you so much. She's trying to get in. Just send, send the police. 195 Berwick. Why? I've got nothing to lose now, do I? 
The police are gonna arrest me anyway, and you took care of that. Don't do this, Isabel. Your father can still help you. I don't know, Kara. You've raised the stakes of the game and made it pretty hard. You won't do it. You sure about that? Then go ahead. Do it, you crazy bitch. Who you forced me? If you think you've won, you're wrong. Because the truth won't come out. Never. Tyler, she was trying to kill me. Kara, give me the gun. I'll put down the axe. It's okay. No! sickness has been pretty bad don't worry it'll pass and then i'm sure you'll have all sorts of cravings for like pickles and all that fun stuff <laughs> oh a hot dog a sour mm. is all that i want right now if i could stomach it i promise when you can i will have it ready you know the chief called me he wants to talk you think that's a good idea what do you think? I think he can't come to terms with what happened, but talking to you isn't going to help him. See? You always know what to do. Are you working today? Yeah, for a few clients. Well, then I will see you both later. Did you? No, not since I took down the head. Was it worth it? Putting yourself in that kind of danger? I didn't have a choice. She was never gonna stop. Neither was my husband. So don't worry. No one will ever trace this back to us. Thank you so much, Laura. And you take care of that beautiful family. You too. Don't you worry. I always will. 